It is said that ruling with the hat of a severance and serving with the hat of a king is the absolute gateway to the hat of the people within his kingdom. Bassa Embarking on this journey, I have here with me an honorable man. Please, may I know your name? My name is Opata Nyakon. A royal from the Nam division. A royal from the Nam division. We just witnessed a prayer. Can you please tell us much about what happened? Right. The one who prayed is the one we call the chief priest of the Krovo land, Okumo. He prayed and ushered the program into the hands of the Almighty and asked of God blessing and more years for the reigning king so that he will have more fruitful years ahead of him. So that he will have more fruitful years. And as we can see, we saw that some of the divisional chiefs was paying homage to the Nene, Sakite II. What can you say about that one too? Yes. 25 years of his reign is a milestone. And that's why Nene is marking this civil jubilee. The first group that came is the Nam Division. That's the, the group that rise to the throne. They are the first group to pay the homage. They give him a citation and they give him presents to support his celebration. Giving him presents to support his celebration. If we say Krobo, can you brief us about the name Krobo? Right. The name originated from an account where the Akans were originally the people around when the Dangbe's arrived. And the way we do our things, they say, when Omumbo Kro, Kro Bo, Omumbo Kro, 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 and I know, Kro, 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 Kro. But the original name is Kro. Kro. So, can you please educate us more about the pain of the homage? Right. Thank you very much. You know, in a state like this, that is comprised of so many divisions. From time to time, the divisions come to renew their allegiance to the truth. And that is exactly what they are doing as we speak now. They are counting, recounting some of the achievements of the paramount king or the paramount chief. 
that for the past 25 years, some of the things that he did. Tell us more about his achievements. Thank you very much. Then I uh, was installed on December 29th, December 1997. He has seen the, the, the work of women in the society and their benefits. So he instituted something we normally call an ideal woman. We call it Yukama. So every year, he selects two of these wonderful people and he honors them at, uh, during the Mayim festival. Apart from this, he also established Kono's Educational Fund that he ran a gift scholarship to needy by bright students. Over, for the past 25 years, more than 1,500 students, secondary school, tertiary, has benefited. Through his efforts, he brought about nursing training college to the land. The various secondary schools he lobbied a lot of projects to the various secondary schools. Guest dormitory at Manyan Krobo. Guest dormitory at Akuse Secondary School. School chapel at Krobo Guest. And currently, two new secondary schools. Ye blocks. One at Obapa and one at Segeswa. Ongoing. the Krobos unique from other tribes? Very well. Krobos originally are farmers. So wherever you see forest, you see a Krobo man. After they depleted all the forests around here, they started moving in Tirom. So you go to the Akim area, they are there. You go to the 
Kwawu areas, they are there. You go to the Sebi areas, they are there. Bus, just because of forest, to farm. They farm cocoa, they farm palms, and they farm food crops. In the early days, Azawa being a market center is one of the best and leading market in the country. So prime food staffs to almost the whole southern Ghana. It is in recent time that farming and the trend has changed and the market is declining. So Krubos are farmers. Pianwa means a mighty fence, which means this divisional group is a division with a mighty fence. These are the various items they are going to present to support to support the celebration, to feed the people, food stars, from vegetables to everything that you can think of. And it's out of that division that he has the defender of the states. So I Mahefalo, the defender, Mahefalo, a, a young chief that is supposed to play that role and is by name Thomas Tepate of Arsenal. The Thomas Tepate I know yes. is a footballer. So are you trying to tell me the divisional chief is also a footballer? No, he is not a divisional chief. He is, we call that position give it to him as Mahe Fanlo. In the accounts we say in Kosohini. And he has been given this title for the young ones to emulate his good behavior, the way he submits himself, the way he's doing about his life and business, so that the young ones can also emulate and copy or learn something from him. So he is the Mahi Falo, the Inkoswo Hini. We are still on the journey, embarking on this journey as we are paying homage to His Royal Majesty Nene Sakite II, the paramount chief of Menya Krobo and the president of the Eastern Regional House of Chiefs.
being displayed or is about to be displayed now is what we call clama. Clama. Normally the people call it Dipo, but the original name is Clama. This is the chief priest of the land that is displaying his skills in the Clama dance. The chief priest Nene Okumo himself, the chief priest of the land, is on display trying to put some skills up, opening the floor for others to come and display the clamor skills. The many of the song is our great fathers has a big compound, so we we'll dance around it. Aha. This is what is normally known by all the people. And you've been calling it Dipo, but we call it Kalama. The Aquino Division, the Queen Mothers from Aquino Division wanted to come and display the Klama dance for the Mahini and the Kono to see. And they are challenging the other clans, the other divisions, if they can also do the same. Right, so the Queen Mothers have set it rolling. The Divisional Queen Mother of Aqueno. And her subordinates are up over there.
And so now we have a representative from the office of the president, His Excellency Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado. What? I came here to wish my brother Nene Sakete well. Uh, he's my brother at the same time, my in-law. You know, um, 25 years, Silver Jubilee is a milestone. It's not an easy journey. Uh, sometimes when I'm talking, I tell people I wish uh, the seat that we are occupying, people will occupy it for just a week and see how hot that seat is. It is not an easy seat at all. So what I would say is, I wish you well. As my linguist, as I say, I wish you all the blessings from our almighty God. Um, that um, he will keep you for us. He will strengthen you. He will give you long life, long life that has uh, good strength and energy in it. My children, the people of 
Manyak Robo gathered here. What I will tell you, and the chiefs, and uh, Manye, people gathered here. My piece and small advice for you is it is not easy to be uh, uh, chiefs and queens of uh, a great state like Manya Krobo. And what I would say is God has given you a very good leader. A leader who is very, very humble. Who doesn't spark off troubles around. But all when we meet, he talks about are good things for his people. I'm praying that you give him all the maximum support. Uh, give him the respect that he is due. Because, you see, uh, it is only one person who can be, I mean, the king of a great state like this. One day, one day, he will go and somebody too will come and follow the good jobs that he did. Give him all the maximum support. He is a human being. He's not going to be 100% right all the time. But you have to support him and, and make him good. Whether he becomes good or bad, it depends on you. You people have to hold him in high esteem and make sure that everything that he's doing with your advices and our support, he will do well for Manya Krobo. Let us make merry, drink and eat and have fun for his sake so that he'll have good life long life and by tomorrow or by Monday Manyakube will be alive, Akwemu will be alive and we'll be celebrating. Thank you very much. <laughs>
حضرتي عما يتفوت والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Come on, come on, come on. 